So mates, I've been receiving a lot of weird music ads on Instagram. And I'll be honest, some of them do look pretty cool, although I doubt any of them work. So for the next few days, I'm gonna buy them, and then I'm gonna make a song with them. And that will be the video. Also, if you're a Zoolmate and you're wondering where I am right now, what this weird studio is, I'm also pretty confused. So hopefully in the next video, we can clear the air. But for now, I'm just gonna use this space. Let's hope we get some good ads. Okay, my Instagram is now just ads. I think someone at the Instagram headquarters saw that I was pressing shop now on every ad that they sent my way, and they got a little excited. But we've purchased two very cool, if they work, products. The first one being, drum roll please. Drum, drum. The pick a bow, pick bow. The guitar bow, the, it turns your guitar into a violin. <laughs> This product runs at $65, which is quite expensive for me, so I hope to God this does not end up in the musical gear junk drawer. The package is arriving in a few days, and I'm very excited. I've always wanted to learn how to play a stringed instrument, so this might be a little stepping stone, which segues into our second product. Drum. It is the Soundstone. This one looks sick. I love slide guitars. I think they make every song better, no matter the genre. Uh, my most popular song with Fizo, Every Moment. I think the best part of that song is the instrumental chorus where Felix just hits this delectable slide. I'm the, one you choose. the sound zone supposedly continuously reverberates your string. Now a little bit of bad news. These were the only two products I was able to buy because they were really the only two reasonable and affordable products that I've seen so far. The packages have arrived. First thoughts, the pick a bow feels nice, looks professional, looks cool. The bow part feels silky. I don't know if you're not supposed to do that. I enjoyed it though. Um, again, not a violin player. Overall first impressions of the pick a bow, good. The soundstone, however, is a little less encouraging. It feels plastic, it's really light. The bottom of it looks a little janky. So although the looks are a little less encouraging for the soundstone, you know, looks aren't all that matters. It's about how it sounds. I am still a little skeptical of how these products will work if they work at all, but we need to be fair in our judgment. So that means that over the next few days, I'm actually gonna learn how these instruments work. I'm gonna practice with them before we just make a song right now without even testing them. Both products come with user manuals, but before I learn how to use these instruments, I kinda wanna just wing it. So let's test out the Picasso first. All tuned up. Capo on four. Okay, that didn't make a sound. I'm getting just the tiniest bit of sound, which I think the reason is, is because I have to put some rosin on the strings. The Soundstone also has a user manual, but we will read that stuff later. I'm assuming you just turn it on That's loud. Um, I'm just, this thing works. I'm just barely pressing the glass. I didn't work. I'm not the best guitarist, so, you know, it's not gonna sound good because of me, but it works. <laughs> I'm having fun. Rosin has been applied to the Picasso bow. Let's give this a shot.
Okay, I mean, it, it works, you know? It sounds cool. It also comes with a pick. I like it. I'm a fan. So let's practice the Soundstone and the Picasso bow in the next few days. It has been a few days and it is time for a final review of these two products. Are they worth their price? The Picasso bow is pretty cool, you know? It gives you a tone that you can't really replicate with any other instrument unless you actually have a violin. Does this make your guitar sound like a violin? No, most of the time it gives some pretty bad scratchy sounds, but occasionally you do get a good recording and if you know how to mix and you know how to produce, you could just get that one recording and throw it in the song. It is pretty annoying getting a bunch of rosin on your guitar strings and then having to clean every time. So for close to $70, would I buy this again knowing how it works? Probably not. $70 is a lot of money for me. So if you have a bunch of money and you want to get something that will give you some inspiration, will give you a new tone, I think it might be worth it. Now for the Soundstone. The Soundstone, like the Picasso bow, it gives you some cool tones. It gives you some sounds that you can't get without it, but does it sound weird sometimes? Does it sound scratchy? Are there clicks in the recording? Sometimes when you use the glass slide, is it constantly out of tune? Yes. If I'm not mistaken, this is based off of the Ebo, which is like the more expensive, legit version of this. So if you have the money, I would get that one. But if you want something that gives you some, you know, cool tones that might give you some inspiration, it might be worth it. But would I get it knowing what I know now? Probably not. I'm, I'm broke though. I mean, you shouldn't go off what I said. So Zolmites, those are my thoughts. I mean, I could probably get a little bit better with these two things, so occasionally I might pull them out and keep practicing with them. So here's the final song. It is called Wash. It will be on all platforms. Um, yeah, keep making music.